Hey there, Royal Caribbean cruise fans. Have I got a treat for you. Today, we're going to take a sneak peek of that brand new ship that's coming online, Icon of the Seas. Stay tuned. My special guest today is Anthony Malaro. Anthony is Royal Caribbean's International Director of Business Development, Support, and Host Travel Partner Relations. A 25-plus year veteran of the cruise industry, Anthony began his career in the Reservations Department at Royal Caribbean, and his various roles since then have given him a tremendous insight in all aspects of Royal Caribbean. Anthony lives in Plantation, Florida with his wife and three children. Hi, Anthony. Welcome back to RTE Travel Talk. Hey, Ken. Thanks for having me back. I really appreciate it. Oh, fantastic. Glad to have you with us again, Anthony. So listen, here's the deal. We have a lot of viewers and listeners out there that are huge fans of Royal Caribbean and have been looking forward to that next new class of ship to come our way. And of course, I'm talking about the Icon of the Seas. And I was hoping today that you and I could spend a little time previewing this amazing ship. How does that sound? Well, as long as we have about three hours to do it, I have no problems. <laughs> My time is your your time, my friend. So let's get Excellent. started. All right. Why don't you give our viewers right. kind of like a thirty thousand foot level? Sure. Well, we're we're officially eighty one days from Icon's first sailing, and this has been over seven years in the making. So you know, this is a game changing new class of ship for us, and um, you know, we're really really excited and, and really going to change the face of cruising once again. Uh, you saw that with our, our Oasis class of ships and of course our Voyager and, and Freedom class. But this one truly will take adventure to a new level. Um, we've got four new adventure pillars. We call them iconic thrills, iconic chills, iconic wows and stays. Um, and of course the neighborhood concept is back. Uh, we've got a total of eight of those. It's the new ones uh, that I'm going to talk through, and I know that we're going to go into a little bit more detail, but um, I'm going to let you know about Aquadome, and this is the largest freestanding dome at sea with 180-degree views uh, and this beautiful shape-shifting five-story waterfall. Uh, wow. Thrill Island, of course, an actual water park on board the ship. This is uh, called Category 6, and we're going to talk about those six record-breaking slides. Uh, Central Park is back, uh, fresh with 13,000 tropical plants and trees uh, and tons of new restaurant concepts that we're going to talk through as well. Then you have Chill Island, uh, and this is where you can pool hop nonstop. Uh, it includes the largest pool at sea, the Royal Bay, and that is uh, 40,000 gallons of water uh, and a new concept for us called Swim and Tonic, and we're really excited about that swim up bar. Uh, of course, Royal Promenade is back, but uh, but bigger and bolder than ever, uh, actually uh, two stories high and the first time ever that we'll have ocean views on each side of the Royal Promenade. Uh, so in, incredible opportunities of, for views, ocean views not to be missed. Uh, Surfside is our family neighborhood and uh, that's going to feature Splash Away Bay. Uh, Aqua Park, the Baby Bay and Water's Edge Pool. And what you're going to find in these neighborhoods is that they're completely fully contained. So you're going to be able to spend an entire day within that neighborhood and really have no reason to leave. Uh, plenty of dining options that are available in each of these venues as well. Uh, and tons and tons of activities for uh, families of all ages. Of course, then we have our sweet neighborhood. Um, that's actually located forward and it spans four decks of luxury and appointments not to be missed and then we have uh hideaway this is our first suspended infinity pool at sea and it's 65 feet in the air with 180 degree ocean views i cannot wait to see that one well <laughs> that's that is just give you a little tease i guess a little taste of uh, what our guests can expect on board icon absolutely amazing so why don't we start with the tail of the tape? How big is she in comparison to the Oasis class? I, I love and I hate this question all at once, only because, <laughs> <laughs> well, and only because at Royal Caribbean, we never really set out to build the largest ship to say that right. we've got the largest. The gross tonnage is 250,000 uh, registered tons. Uh, there's going to be 2,800 staterooms, and it is almost 1,200 feet in length. 
and it is at 159 feet wide at the water line. Uh, so it kind of comes out uh, a little bit uh, once you go above the water line there. Total guests, uh, 7,514. That's with all triples and quads uh, fully realized, uh, but double occupancy guests are about 5,600. Okay. And there will be 20 decks to enjoy. Amazing. So full of the yep. gunnels, she's 7,500 passengers. And but yes, realistically, probably somewhere between 56 and 6,000, probably per cruise, I would say, right? Well, uh, in a perfect world, we will sail full week in, week out. Uh, <laughs> and that's what we're going to rely on our travel advisors and our consumers uh, to, to really build on all of the hype that we've put forward over the last several years. And it's going to culminate with this ultimate family vacation. She really sounds like a theme park at sea, Anthony. Um, what was the concept behind the design? Now more than ever, families are looking for these experiences and, and prioritizing these experiences in their life. And so we set out to build a ship that would kind of check all those boxes. So regardless of the size of your family, the age of your family, whether it's just friends within your family, it really is something for everyone out there. So I gather pretty much the same as the Oasis class ships. She's divided into several, several neighborhoods. I recall from my time on Allure of the Seas, one of my favorite neighborhoods happened to be Central Park. Park, and of course, the Royal Promenade. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the new unique neighborhoods that are coming to Icon of the Seas? Sure. And, and again, it's we think Oasis, we think Voyager class, of course, because those are the ships that really started with the, the this neighborhood concept. And when I tell you that it's going to be so much different than what we're used to seeing on board Royal Caribbean. I'll, I'll take you first to the Aqua Dome, and this is on the forward end of the ship, and um, this is going to feature the Aqua Theater shows. Uh, these are incredible water shows that we are used to seeing on Oasis class, and it's right. just going to be taken to that next level. So this is a, a transformational space, and it will really change throughout the day depending on the mood and the vibe of the ship and is going to provide really a, a show that blurs the line between reality and and movie and uh just going to have to see it to believe it it sounds fascinating it really does i can't wait to see it absolutely so then we have surfside and surfside and again if we're drawing comparisons and you are familiar with our boardwalk uh this is kind of taking over that space, if you will. And uh, this is gonna be our family area that is, again, completely self-contained. Um, and it is gonna really be a, a, a space that families can come and enjoy for the entire day. Uh, we're gonna have plenty of activities and, and live music throughout. Uh, and what I love about the, the this new concept within the ship is that there are food venues and dining venues within each uh, neighborhood that we have. So okay. you're never having to leave the neighborhood to go and eat and then come back. Everything is kind of self-contained there. We're going to have um, a, a uh, character called Admiral Awesome, and uh, he's going to be our master of ceremonies down <laughs> on Surfside. And, uh, and he's going to be really the one kind of handling all of the fun and activities on Surfside, complete with the uh, the Steel Pan Family Jam, uh, Big Shark Block Party, and it's going to be that transformational space again so that throughout the evening and, and throughout the afternoon, uh, those activities will will change with the day and with the, with the time of the day and with the vibe. This is also where Adventure Ocean is located. So traditionally, okay. Adventure Ocean was in a higher deck, kind of tucked away, uh, yep. and now it's all in that one space. So again, it, it kind of lends to you being able to spend the entire day in that venue and really not having a need to leave uh, at any point. So we're really, really excited about those those new changes. Then we'll we'll move on to the uh, Thrill Water Park. Uh, so category six we talked about. There's going to be uh, six different record break breaking slides. Uh, we have the first <laughs> um, family mat racer at sea. Yeah. Um, we have the uh, one that actually the when the floor drops out, uh, it it drops you 46 feet below. I, I think I'm going to pass on that one. But uh, <laughs> for the thrill seeker, uh, there is going to be absolutely nothing like it. 
Man, a deer. So for those folks that are un- are unfamiliar with Adventure Island, that's for the um, kids program? Adventure Ocean, yes. So Adventure that is Ocean. our kids program. Yep. Uh, five different age groups. Uh, it ranges from ages three to 17. We also have a, a teen area as well for those kind of in-betweens, uh, 18 plus. Then we also have our Aqua Babies and Aqua Tots, which is for our infants as, as young as six months old. Uh, There is an additional charge for that, but just know that uh, families of all ages will be well taken care of and entertained. Oh, fantastic. The kids can go off on these great adventures, and then there's that leaves some quality time for mom and dad to have an adventure of their own. That's correct. You got that right. (laughs) Anthony, Royal Caribbean has always been known for its multitude of entertainment options. Can you tell us about some of the standout shows and performances we can expect to see on board Icon on the Seas? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, And I thought you'd never ask. (laughs) (laughs) So we talked about the aqua theater and this kind of transformational space in terms of the melding of of 270 with all of the robotics and technology uh, with the uh, five-story high dives and and water shows. So we're going to have a show uh, called Starburst. Um, That is going to be one of our ice shows. And that's uh, something that, again, is going to be spectacular. We, we're moving the the ice rink, absolute zero, we're calling it. And so we've completely changed the dimensions of it. Typical ice rink is rectangular on our ships, tucked down right. on deck three. Uh, we're moving yep. this up onto the Royal Promenade, and it's going to be really front and center. And now the rink is going to be an oval shape. Mm-hmm. So when you go to see this show, Starburst, uh, just think periodical table gone wild, or skaters are going to really be able to perform some incredible magic while they're out there. Wow. Um, Wow. In the aqua theater, in the aqua dome, uh, that is going to be aqua action. And so the best way I can describe this is you will see skateboarders, you will see high dives, you will see aerial show, and you will see live action movie type activity all in one. And uh, this is going to be one that is absolutely not to be missed. And then you may have heard of a show, a show called Wizard of Oz. Uh, That is going to be our marquee production show in the Royal Theater. And uh, truly, like no no place like home, uh, this is going to be a showstopper of all showstoppers. Uh, This is going to be one of our biggest onstage casts ever. And we cannot wait to see her brought to life. (laughs) <laughs> so people should pack their ruby slippers then. <laughs> you may want to. You may want to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, back to the Aquadome. I know I'm kind of bouncing back and forth, but I, I get so yeah. excited about these shows. I, I just as they come into my my brain, I want to make sure I put them out there to you. Uh, in the Aquadome, we're going to have this classic show called Pirates versus Mermaids. So exactly as the show would would state. Probably the mermaids are going to win every time, but you never know. Um, it is worth going and checking it out, and it is going to be uh, an interactive experience for all ages out there. And then, of course, part of being able to bring Wizard of Oz to life was the ability for us to bring in a 16-piece royal show band and this is live musicians that will take the stage so not only will we use them during wizard of oz but we'll also bring them in uh doing other production type shows uh throughout the cruise as well so there there's never want of anything not anything to do on board there's always always a show on the go or an activity it's fantastic yeah absolutely and you know for those that don't want all that activity in action, you can go on over to Chill Island. And we've got four of our seven pools at Chill Island. uh, And you're going to be bound to find a a quiet nook and cranny that you can kind of just relax, soak up the sun, and then just enjoy the vibes. Uh, We've got live music. We've got DJ music all around the uh, Chill Island area. And that's specifically designed for people who just want to kick their kick their sandals off and lay lay back and relax. That's correct. Yep. Amazing. So after all the activities and entertainment on board, what's near and dear to my heart and to a lot of cruises' hearts actually is the food. Now I gather Icon of the Seas is not going to disappoint with 10 10 dining concepts, I believe, and a total total of maybe up to 40 venues where you can get, get a bite to eat. Tell us a little bit about, you'd need to, first of all, you'd need two weeks on board just to visit them all. But tell us a little bit about them. Well, thank goodness. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness we go Eastern and Western Caribbean. So you could actually do that. There will be a total of 20 new dining venues on board ship. We're going to have 20 dining options altogether. 10 of those are going to be completely new to our brand. And then 11 of those 20 will be completely complimentary. So it really is about providing the, the variety that our guests are asking for. There's two concepts that I'm most excited about, and, and I'll start with the, the most luxurious of all, Empire Supper Club. Uh, okay. This is going to think 1930s New York, right, in a nice, quiet, small, intimate venue. We're going to have two seatings, early and a late seating. We're going to have live jazz music playing that kind of complements the food and, and drink that will be prepared for our guests. This is going to be on Central Park on Deck 8, and it's going to just feature a spectacular lineup of food uh, from caviar to Wagyu. And it's actually going to be a formal dining option. So uh, formal dining attire will be required. You don't have right. to go with the tuxedo, right. but uh, it's going to be one of those where uh, definitely not in shorts and, and one that folks are going to want to get dressed up and really enjoy this, this evening out there. It's an experience like kind of stepping back in time a little bit, getting dressed up, putting on the Ritz, as they say, and exactly. enjoying some really fine food. I, I assume it must be a cover cover charge specialty dining type area. Is it, Anthony? There there will be a cover charge for that specialty, and it is a it's a pretty small venue, so it's going to be one of those where right. but it will absolutely uh, check the box for those that are looking for something different and uh, for for a, a menu that just can't be beat. It's going to right be on. pretty special. So being as being as the, how it's a, or a small venue, it would be wise that people, if they're interested, to book that well well in advance, or I would expect. Absolutely. I'm sure there's no, lots of venues, though the old favorites that people are going to recognize, Chops Grill, Giovanni's. Tell us about the other one that's on, on your list. So the other one on my list is a more casual uh, concept, and you're going to see a few of these throughout, but the one that I'm most excited about is Aquadome Market. So this is up in Aquadome and within that neighborhood, uh, this is kind of like a food hall concept. So it's a first for our brand and you're going to have five different food, food stands, crepes to grilled cheese to uh, Mediterranean options and some really great and eclectic type foods. We're going to have a, a mac and cheese bar, and that <laughs> is going to be really exciting. So you're going to see a lot of these interesting concept type food options throughout the entire ship. And again, they're, they're kind of contained within each one of those venues. So no need to then have to go traditionally, we'd have to leave where you're at, go to the Windjammer, get a quick bite and come back, you'll be able to do that all within each neighborhood. So Anthony, let's talk about the staterooms. Guests, are, I gather guests are not going to be stuck for choosing a stateroom with 20 to 28 different categories, 14 of which are brand new. Tell us a little bit more about the staterooms and in particular, some of those with that new infinite ver veranda concept. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it can be overwhelming, right? Because everything <laughs> is new on the ship. There's 14 new categories of stateroom and you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, how many categories do we need? But remember that the ship was built for families. 82% yeah. of our staterooms are built for three or more guests. So there's a right. lot more families of five or more that are going to be accommodated uh, in these new stateroom categories. And th really that one that I'm, besides the, the ultimate family townhouse, uh, I would say that the this particular balcony is one of my favorites because it really actually gives you so much more space. So it's kind of hard to, to visualize. So imagine you're in a balcony stateroom and the, the area of the balcony, which you would normally open your slider and then go out onto the, uh, onto the deck and onto your balcony. Imagine that being pushed to the edge and having a window that retracts so that you have your open ocean view balcony, quote unquote. Uh, but all of that space now that was exterior is now interior space. So not only are guests appreciating the fact that there's a lot more space in that stateroom, they also get the they also right. get the advantage of having the uh, balcony and, and opening it so that um, they can have their ocean view and, and the smell of salt ocean breezes. And, and it just 
opens the the size of the room all together. It's it's quite a quite a neat little concept. It makes a lot of sense when you when when you think about it because you're probably adding 40 square feet to the size of your stateroom. 40, 45 square feet? Approximately, you got it. Yep. Now, the ultimate family townhouse. I, I've heard about this. Wow. <laughs> it, <laughs> I think it, it's upwards of $80,000 a week, if I'm not mistaken. You can correct me if I'm wrong when on she that. Just, but it, it's yeah, something to see. Came out, when she first came out, uh, that was about the price range, sixty to 80000 uh, Seeing it now, on, uh, we, just re we just opened new inventory through April of 2026. And I'm mm -hmm. actually seeing, excuse me, over 125000 per week. Holy so God. this is one of those rooms. Uh, it's three stories high and it is one of those rooms that compromises on nothing and it has a space for everybody on board it's on the back of the ship it even has yeah. its own mailbox yeah. and private gated entrance right onto surfside so you, you can imagine the the ultimate family uh, vacation in the ultimate family townhouse rolling into the ultimate family neighborhood, which is Surfside. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. How many people could uh, stay in one of those? In one of those? How up many would they accommodate? In that stateroom. Up to, yeah, eight. up to eight. For those folks who can afford it, it's certainly an experience to be had and probably a once in a lifetime. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's probably not. Absolutely. A lot of people would be interested in going back time and again, I bet. Absolutely. And, you know, it does include our Royal Suite class. So our highest level of, of the suite class, which is mostly all inclusive. So it includes your drink packages and your internet packages and gratuities and access to all of the restaurants in suite neighborhood, your own private suite lounge. So when you start adding all of that value, um, and, and really the cost of the room does become quite affordable when you think about everything that's included in there. Yes, of course. Of course. Well, Anthony, this is absolutely super information is there anything else you might like to add about icon of the seas before we wrap up well i would say if you haven't booked already book now <laughs> the, the 2024 inventory is really down to staterooms here and there throughout right. uh, we did just open up our space for through april of 2026 all eastern and western caribbean out of miami they're all gonna sail uh to our Private Island, perfect day at Coco Cay. So you're going to have an incredible beach day, one of our highest rated ports. It's the highest rated in North America and one of the highest rated throughout the world. So the, the message would be to book early, book often, and um, get ready for that vacation of a lifetime. Super. I'm going to leave the information on how to book in the description. And of course, people can get with their preferred travel advisor to to book. So listen, I understand we have another Oasis class ship coming uh, to us next year. Ah, indeed, we do. Uh, so this is the fifth Oasis class ship. It is utopia of the seas. And what's unique about this, well, everything is unique about it because it is going to be the first ship, Oasis class ship, purposely built for three and four night cruises. Uh, so she will sail three and four nights out of Port Canaveral in Florida. And every single itinerary will go to perfect day. And this is the ultimate family vacation. So imagine your first experience on an Oasis class ship, they're gonna come back time and time again. There are over 40 different venues on board for entertainment and food. It's truly something not to be missed. We're really, really excited about that, but I think we need another hour show just to uh, talk about that one. Well, that sounds amazing. We'll have to have you back to give our viewers and listeners the skinny on the Utopia of the Seas. How does that sound? I'm looking forward to it, thank you. All right, my friend. Well, with that, I'm just going to wish you safe and happy travels on all your future cruises and adventures. May the wind always be at your back, and I hope to see you on the Lido Deck sometime soon. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye, everybody. And that about wraps it up for today, folks. A very special thanks to my guest, Anthony Malaro of Royal Caribbean. If you'd like more information about a Royal Caribbean cruise or Icon of the Seas, I will leave the contact information for all of our real travel experts in the description. If you'd like to reach out to us, with a question about Royal Caribbean or a comment, you can simply send a question to questions at realtravelexperts.com, visit our website, realtravelexperts.com, or simply leave a comment. We always respond. And as always, folks, if you enjoyed this content, a like, subscribe, and a ring of the bell is certainly appreciated and helps us to spread the word. So until next time, happy travels.